Hello everybody. Welcome to Word Shard. In the last class we did transformation of sentences, mainly active and passive voice. We were doing, uh, we discussed the rules, tricks, charts, exercises and all that. So from there my question was, I was playing video games when my mother started scolding me. So how will you change it to the passive form? See, I is the subject over here. Video games is the object. What is the verb? Was playing, which means it is past continuous. So you, was, you have to use the word B-E-I-N-G to change it. So the answer would be video games were being played by me. Then the extra information when my mother started scolding. And number two, Ravi can take the dog if he wants. You have to begin it with the dog. So the dog is the subject. The dog who is the, uh, sorry, the dog is the object. And what is the subject? The subject is Ravi. What is the verb? Can take. So how will you change? It will be can be taken. Remember, can take is not changed to could. Okay. Shall take is not changed to should. Like you do it in direct, indirect. We don't do that in active passive. So the dog can be taken by Ravi then the extra information you added if he wants okay so um, I find that you have a bit of a problem over here there are few who answered it correctly and few could not there were certain mistakes that you have made while changing it while bringing the object in front and changing the verb to the form that is suitable over here so I will again do another exercise on this part that is active passive because you know I already told you one or two questions come from here from the do as directed part transformation of sentences. We will be doing it again but uh, for now today we will be starting Merchant of Venice Act 3 scene 2. It is a huge scene so we will divide it into two parts and then we will do it. First part we will be doing it today and the second part maybe 2-3 days after. Okay, so let's start with it and uh, follow it carefully. Okay, if you have any problem, you know what you have to do. You have to write down in the comment section so that I can solve your problems. Your exams are coming near. So if you have any other problem in any other portion, even those which I have not yet discussed, you can ask over there. If you have the total English book or grammar book, that whatever book you are following from your school you can uh, also if you have a particular sentence that you cannot frame or you have problem in that you can ask that also in the comment section you know that you uh, you will be answered very fast and uh, so you can easily write it down there and get your answers okay i hope you are liking my videos and uh, you are liking to be connected with me like this way and so let's begin with merchant of venice act three scene two act three scene two it is in Belmont, a room in Portia's house. We have seen that uh, Aragon, Prince of Aragon, Prince, uh, Prince of Morocco, they all come and try to choose the caskets. They choose it and they choose incorrect caskets. One chooses the gold casket, another the silver casket. Now in this scene, we will see Portia Portia's lover or we can say that Portia had a soft corner for this man Bassanio. He has come to choose the casket. Let's see what happens. Enter Bassanio, Portia, Graciano, Nerissa and attendants. I think you remember the last part when Portia was said, was informed by a servant that a messenger who has come with a huge amount of gifts and he he has come as a forerunner to inform about his master that is Bassanio who was a Venetian lord. He was coming and the messenger had come to inform about his arrival. So now this person has actually come and he's going to choose the casket. Enter Bassanio, Portia, Graciano, Nerissa and attendants. Portia. I pray you tarry. See all those yellow marked portions, highlighted portions. They are the meanings. So check the meanings. If you find them difficult, you can write them down. If it is not there in the footnotes or in your book, then you can obviously write them down with a pencil beside the word. I pray you tarry. Tarry means Portia asks Bassanio, requests Bassanio to wait before choosing the casket. Pause a day or two before you hazard. What do you mean by hazard? Hazard means he, uh, sorry, Portia tells Bissanio to wait before he chooses. Hazard means to choose. For in choosing wrong, I lose your company. If the question comes that why does Portia ask Bissanio to wait and to spend some more time before choosing the casket? Because if Bassanio chooses the incorrect casket then what was the rule that he had to leave the place immediately they cannot spend any more time together so from 
the first two sentences you come to know that Portia had some kind of soft corner for this person, for Bassanio. Soft corner means some kind of feelings, maybe love or let's see what feelings he, she has for Bassanio. Therefore, forbear. Forbear means therefore wait a while. A while means wait for some time. There something tells me but it is not love. I would not lose you. It is not love. See, according to because Portia's father had already made a plan that of this casket choice that Portia and, and he had made it clear that Portia is going to marry a person only by the way of this casket choice game. By this kind of a lottery game, he's, she's going to choose her husband. So, in, in no other way she has the right to choose a husband for herself. She cannot say somebody that, okay, I love you, please marry me. She cannot do that because the father has planned something for her. That is the casket choice lottery. So, she cannot directly say that, okay, Basanio, I love you. She cannot say that directly. So, she says that, although I cannot tell you that I love you, but I do not wish to lose you. I would not lose you. Would means wish. So, I don't wish to lose you. And do and you know yourself, hate counsels not in such a quality. Hate counsels not in such a quality. See, when I am telling somebody that, please do not go away. Uh, please, I want to spend some more time with you. Obviously, hate is not what I feel for you. It is obviously not hate. If I hate somebody, I would wish that uh, he must go away from here as soon as possible. But over here, he, she does not feel that way. So it is not hate. That means it must be something else, some different kind of emotion. It can be love also, which she perhaps cannot say directly. Why is she going round and round of this topic? Because she cannot directly say somebody that she loves him. Because she is not allowed to do so by, his fa by her father. Okay. But she also wants Vesenio to understand that yes, Portia loves him. But lest you should not understand me well. Lest means she is also afraid that perhaps Vesenio cannot understand her properly. She, he cannot understand that Portia loves Vesenio. So he, she tries to make Vesenio more clearer about it. Okay. And yet a maiden hath no tongue but thought. Maiden means unmarried young girl. So she says that see I don't have that power to reveal that I truly love you. Yet a maiden hath no tongue but thought. A maiden does not have the right to speak. A maiden means over here Portia. Portia talks about herself that she is a young girl but she has no tongue. That means she cannot speak what she actually thinks. I would detain you here some month or two. So I would love to. I would. I, I am wishing to detain you. I wish to keep you here. Not let you go away from, from this place. For some month or two. I want you to stay here for one or two months. Before you venture for me, that means before you go and choose the casket, I want you to I want to keep you here for one or two months so that I can stay with you for one or two months. Because if you choose the incorrect casket, then you cannot stay any longer according to my father's clauses or rules and regulations mentioned. You have to go away then. So it is better that I spend some time before you choose the casket. Okay. I could teach you how to choose right now. She goes on saying this that I could even tell you in which casket my portrait is. Obviously Portia knows everybody is choosing in front of Portia. So she all, all, all obviously knows it that in which casket uh, Portia's picture will be. So she says that I can also tell you because I love you. I want you to choose the correct casket. I can even tell you that okay my portrait is in this casket but I cannot do that. I am then forsworn. Force on means I have taken an oath. I have made a promise that I am not going to tell the secret or reveal the secret to anybody. So will I never be. So I cannot tell you. So will I never be means. So because I have promised my father I cannot tell you in which casket my portrait is. So may you miss me. So it may so happen that you choose the incorrect casket and you will have to lose me. But if you do, that means if you choose the incorrect casket, you will make me wish a sin. That means if you choose the incorrect casket, if I do not get to marry you, then what would I wish? Then I would wish that, gosh, I would have told you in which casket my portrait is. Okay, then what would have happened? Then I would not l m have lost you, isn't it? If, if Portia had told Bassanio beforehand in which casket her portrait is, then there was, a, there was no chance of losing Bassanio altogether. That I had been forced one. But see, I have taken an oath, so I cannot help you in that. 
be shrew your eyes now this part is very important listen to it carefully be shrew your eyes be shrew the word be shrew means bewitched that means there is your eyes have cast a magical spell on me okay they have overlooked me that means they have looked at me you have looked at me with your eyes and you, that has divided me into two parts okay you have looked at me and it has divided me into two parts let me explain you with this picture see i have been divided into two parts for one part one half of me is yours one half of me is yours the other half is also yours the other half when i am divided into two one half is uh, one half i have given it to you the other half also is yours why because my own i would say but if mine then yours and so all yours see let us exp let let me explain it to you once more over here what happens the eyes of besanio has divided portia into two has divided portia into two one part is portia's one part is besanio's according to the logic but the part which is portia's the portion that is portia's also belongs to besanio why because portia has given her complete self to besanio portia is deeply madly in love with besanio so the complete portia belongs to whom belongs to portia she has given her her soul her heart and everything to portia, to besanio altogether oh these naughty times put bars between the owners and their rights so this is this is a moment when obviously i have the right to choose my own husband normally because i am going to marry that person i should have the right to choose the person but i don't have the right to do that isn't it this is a very sad situation put bars okay between whom between the owners and their rights obviously i am the owner of my body and mind i must be given the right to choose my husband but you see i don't have the right to do that i am stopped from doing that this is a very sad thing for me and so though yours not yours so even when i am the person whose marriage is being discussed over here i cannot choose my husband and even though i love you it may so happen that i am not given to marry you if you choose the incorrect casket prove it so let fortune go to hell for it not i so let's see uh, if you choose the correct casket or incorrect casket let's see but i speak too long but it is to please the time now you see let's see this picture often you do know with an elastic uh, rubber band or or hair band, uh, something that is of made of elastic you you pull this thing on the both sides isn't it you pull it but when you are pulling it what happens have you seen it if it is this much long it will become longer so portia says that i am just trying to pull the time stretch the time so that i can spend more time with you okay p is means i'm trying to weigh time and e k and droid of of length that means i'm trying to make just like we pull the elastic rubber band to make it longer similarly i'm trying to talk more so that i can stretch the time even more so that i can spend some more time with you okay besanio let me choose for as i am i live upon the rack so please let me allow me to choose allow, allow me to choose the casket uh, because the more i wait i am being tortured why do you think bisanyo says that he is tortured you see what is the thing when when you are going or when you will be participating in a competition you are very tense that what will happen will i win or will i lose so bisanyo is in this state so he does not wish to waste time he just wants to go there and see what his luck would provide him that is why he cannot wait any longer the more he waits the more tortured he is that is why he says please take me to the casket i want to choose it portia because besanio has used that word tortured upon the rack so portia feels very sad that is it so that besanio does not love me is it so that besanio does not understand that i so wish to spend some time with him portia is sad so portia says upon the rack besanio then confess what reason there is mingled with your love so he says so portia says that okay you are being tortured besanio then please confess that what treason there is mingled with your love then something must be bothering you what is that what kind of what is the problem that you are facing is it that you do not love me is it something else has forced you to come over here what is it that you are feeling tortured besanyo 
none but that ugly treason of mistrust which makes me fear the enjoying of my love basanio says that see i cannot trust myself i am not sure whether i will be winning you or not whether i will be be given whether i will be able to marry you or not so i am very much tensed that is why i am tortured there may as well be amity and life between snow and fire so he says that there is the there is a huge amount of difference between snow that is cold and fire which is hot isn't it so as much difference there is between hot and cold the same amount of difference is between treason and love there is no disloyalty between uh, there is no there is no this loyalty that i feel uh, about you or feel for you okay so i am truly madly in love with you and that is why i am here there is no other reason that is bothering me only that i am a bit tense that what will happen whether i will win you or not okay porsche i but i fear you speak upon the rack where men enforced to do speak anything so porsche says you say you are tortured you are upon the rack that means you are tortured then when somebody is tortured when somebody is enforced then they, it is often seen that men will speak anything and everything if you force a somebody if you torture somebody and force him to speak something he is going to speak anything besanio promise me life and i will confess the truth besanio says okay uh, you say you promise that you will uh, you will uh, you will allow me to live then i will confess you the truth i will tell you what is true porsche well then confess and live okay say what you want to say Bassanio confess and love had been the very sum of my confession o happy torment when my torturer doth teach me answers for deliverance see i am tortured bassanio says that i am tortured because i do not know whether i'll be able to marry you or not whether i'll win the casket choice game or not and over here you are telling me is bassanio says this to porcia that you are telling me that you love me so much so it is already such a huge such such a happy amount of torment imagine you loving somebody and that person is telling you that she also loves you it gives you immense amount of happiness isn't it that okay i love somebody and that person also loves me so besanio feels that this is a very happy torment this is a very happy moment that he already is in love with porcia and over here porcia is also waiting to be with besanio wants to be with besanio wants to Uh, marry her marry him and she is so much interested in besanio that gives him extreme amount of happiness but let me my let me to my fortune and the casket so please take me to the fortune and the caskets you have already seen pictures of caskets the boxes and one is made of gold one is of silver one is lead and within the caskets you find the, the in one of the caskets there is the picture of porcia and in the other caskets there are certain things sometimes a skull sometimes the face of a joker and there is also a scroll in all of the three caskets so you have already seen the caskets in the previous videos so if you haven't you go and check there or check all the other videos and then you can follow this if you are liking the video please comment and subscribe and share it with your friends too okay let's continue porcia away then i am locked in one of them if you do love me you will find me out so porcia says okay then let us go and see how, what uh, what is your luck whether you choose the correct casket or not i am locked in one of them that means in one of these three caskets i am locked inside one of these three caskets i'm there nerissa if you do love me you will find me out so if you truly love me then it is i am quite sure that you will choose the correct casket nerissa and the rest stand all aloof that means nerissa and all the other people over here please stand aside let music sound while he doth make his choice this one is an important part see music over here when other people were choosing the caskets then there was no music played but over here we find that music is being played porcia says that play some music now why music you can obviously feel that there's there porcia was trying to give some hint by playing the music let's see what kind of hint then if he lose he make a swan like end fading in music so what will be the music if he if he loses then the music will be like a swan like end fading in music it is said see whatever is written in green let us read this first to make the idea clearer swan song is symbolic over here it has an inner meaning over here it denotes the final effort or performance before death 
so before you die before the swan dies it makes a final performance or final show or final effort and that is called the swan like end so when if bassanio chooses the incorrect casket then the music will some, be something like that swan like end fading in music the music will slowly fade out as bassanio has chosen the incorrect casket that the comparison may stand more proper my eye shall be the stream and watery death bed for him so if bassanio chooses the incorrect casket then i will be crying so much that it will make the death bed for the swan okay it, i will cry so much that it, there will be a pond created of that so much water okay so my uh, my tears will be creating the death bed for the swan or for our love because our love will die isn't it i will not be allowed to marry bassanio that is why our love will die and so uh, it will be a very it will be very sad for me so i'll be crying a lot and making the death bed for the swan he may win so this one he ha she said that if if he loses then this will be the music if he wins then what will be the music then music is even as the flourish flourish see this picture this is the instrument that is played when a king enters or when a king is to be given uh, is to be shown some respect okay so just like that kind of a music will be played if the if bassanio chooses the correct casket when true subjects bow to a new crowned monarch when a new king is made when he is being crowned these trumpets these music is played so that kind of music will be played if bassanio chooses the correct casket then as are those okay such as it is as are those dulcet sounds in break of day that creep into the dreaming bridegroom's ear and summon him to the church so see on the marriage day the husband wakes up in the morning with a very sweet music because she, because it is a very happy moment for him and that bridegroom and that bridegroom's ear is you know is he he was dreaming he was sleeping and suddenly that sweet music wakes him up in the morning and that will be the marriage day of his and he will be summoned to the church for his marriage that kind of sweet dulcet music will be played if bassanio chooses the correct casket so three kinds of music he talks about first one if uh, if he if he loses there will be the music which would be like the swan like end okay and uh, number 2 it will be like the trumpet sounds if bassanio chooses the correct casket it would be as sweet as the dulcet sounds that a bridegroom hears on the wedding day okay so these are the three types of music that will be played according to the choice that bassanio makes okay now now he goes with no less presence but with much more love than young alcides when he did redeem the virgin tribute paid by howling troy to the sea monster here i'll tell you a story what happened is hesion was a trojan prince you know troy troy was a place so hesion was the princess of troy okay trojan princess what happened was there was a sea monster the the uh, that place troy was attacked by a sea monster and that sea monster wished for a tribute that means a sacrifice now who was sacrificed hesion hesion was the princess of troy and she was sacrificed to the sea monster now what happened now alcides or you know him very well by the name of hercules hercules said that he will save this princess from the sea monster so Hercules goes very heroically to save the princess. What are the other people of Troy doing then when the princess is being sacrificed? You see, the rest aloof are the Dardanian wives. Who are the Dardanian wives? <coughs> the women of Troy. The all the women of Troy. They were all standing around to see, and they were very sad also, with bleared visages, means with tears in their eyes and faces. They were very scared of the sea monster, and they were seeing that the princess was being sacrificed to the sea monster. The sea monster would kill her, perhaps. So they were all very scared. And who was going to save? Uh, who was going to save the princess? Hercules was going to save the princess. Now, why is this story talked about over here? You see, Hercules. over here is who bassanio because bassanio is going to save a lady in distress who is the lady in distress over here obviously portia and who are the people who are the dardanian wife 
who are who are watching who are just spectators over here they are all these people nerissa and all the other people who are just waiting and seeing what will happen they cannot help portia and who who is the only person who can help portia that is that is the sanyo and over here he is compared to hercules okay now one more thing i'll make you clear over here with but with much more love why is this said what they portia is comparing bisanio with hercules but he says that bisanio is going with much more love than hercules why because you see this princess hesion his her father was king lomedon by king lomedon okay now lomedon was given huge number of beautiful wonderful horses by zeus zeus is the god of sky so zeus had gifted king lomedon with the wonderful horses and hercules wanted these beautiful horses so he was going to save his young okay but according to portia bisanio was just going to save portia because he was very much in love with portia and he was he did not need anything else he just was going to save portia to because because he was madly in love with portia okay but you see over here bisanio also has come over here not because only because of portia but because portia is also very rich that is also one of the reasons for which bisanio has come over here okay next come forth to view the issue of the exploit this we have done go hercules live thou i live so he says so portia says that okay my hercules that is bisanio go let's see live thou that means if you live i will also live if you if you are uh, successful then i will also be happy because i'll be given to marry you with much 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 more dismay i view the fight than thou that makest the fray so portia says that when you are going to fight the battle when you are going to choose the casket i will be more tensed than you who is fighting because i i am very scared whether i will marry my lover or not okay next music while bisanio comments on the caskets to himself when bisanio is deciding which casket to choose music is being played so you can understand they may give a hint to bisanio the music can give a hint to bisanio over here what is the song we will see the song also say and and understand what is being said through the song okay tell me where is fancy bread what does this line mean Post, the song that is being played says that tell me or questions that tell me where is fancy bread that means where desires are born okay in the heart or in the head are desires born in the head or in the heart how big got that means how they are created and how they are nourished how they are nourished how they get how they get the food to grow reply reply now the reply is coming it is engendered that means see it was questioned that where is desire where does desire take birth desires take birth in the eyes first see when you see somebody love at first sight you know about this isn't it when you see somebody desires are born yes this one this this girl or this boy is so handsome or so pretty so it is born in the eyes then what happens with gazing fed that means nourishment where does it re receive the nourishment you go on looking at that boy or girl you are so in love with him or her so you go, so the love or that infatuation is nourished by constantly looking at him or her and then fancy dies that means then the desires or the just the infatuation that part dies in the cradle where it lies so it dies very young love at first sight yes it is said but you see that is a type of infatuation oh she is beautiful oh he is handsome but then with time this desire will die off let us all ring fancy's knell i will begin ding dong bell so fancy will die and what will take its place true love will take its place which is which will sustain for a long time isn't it it will it will be a it will be eternal love is eternal but infatuation can be erased very soon today you see this girl and you feel that she is so beautiful tomorrow you see another girl and she is far more beautiful okay this thing happens but love is not so momentary love is continuous it is eternal so first you are infatuated for somebody then love takes its place okay all so now ding dong bell the bell is being rung then what happens okay 
Bassanio. So may the outward shows be least themselves. So the out now Bassanio is choosing first. What does he see? He sees the golden casket. This part is very important. Why doesn't he choose the gold casket, or why he chooses that, or why he chooses this? This part is important. So may the outward shows be least themselves. This person is clever, clever as Aragon. So he says that see many a times the world is deceived or world is tricked. Or fooled by the outward show with ornament. That means the false appearances. You see this picture. This apple seems to be so rich and costly. All it, it has gold out outside, isn't it? Gold skin. But when you bite the apple, what happens? You see that the inside part of the apple is rotten. When you go to the market, I don't know if you have been to the vegetable market. You will see that there are apples that looks very shiny, isn't it? They are so shiny, looks so beautiful and good and tasty. But when you take it and bite it, after you have bought it, what will you see? You may see an insect inside it. That means the outward show can fool you, isn't it? So he knows that. So he does not choose the gold casket. He gives some more reasons for not choosing the golden casket. Let's see what are those. In law, what plea so tainted and corrupt, but being seasoned with a gracious voice, obscures the show, show of evil? This part, this is the first part. Let's see. What is he saying? He says that what happens many a times in law, that means in the courtroom, we see that a case a person who is fighting for the maybe for the criminal he uses such a gracious voice he uses such a beautiful voice such a hand you know such a such huge words bombastic words and a gracious loud and form voice he is using that that obscures that it hides the evil part okay you feel that no the criminal is not actually the criminal so the criminal's deeds are hidden by what by the by the firm, loud voice of the lawyer. Okay. This happens in religion also. In religion, what damned error, but some sober brow will bless it and approve it with the text, hiding the grossness with fair ornament. I'll give you one very good example over here. In Mahabharata, you obviously have read this or, or you have heard stories from this. In Mahabharata, you see that, that Krishna tells Arjuna that you must fight with your fight against your brothers. You know, Pandavas and Kauravas were the two sides. So Pandavas and Kauravas were brothers only. Both of them were brothers. So Krishna tells Arjun that you must fight against your brothers because you cannot allow anything and everything to happen. That is why you must fight with against your brothers. So that has a separate reason for it, isn't it? That has a separate reason altogether that the Kauravas had taken everything from the Pandavas and therefore the Pandavas needed to fight for, for themselves, isn't it? That was the reason for which Krishna had told uh, Arjuna to fight against the Kauravas, fight against his own brothers. But when you are, when for example, I am fighting with my own brother for property, that does not have the same uh, context isn't it the context is different the situation is different i have money i have been given a lot of money by my father yet i'm fighting with my brother for more money that is not the same case as it had happened in mahabharata so what happens many a times to hide my evil or to hide my evil intentions i take examples from holy textbooks maybe mahabharata maybe bible maybe gita from all over all of these places i take examples that you see in mahabharata also brothers fought against each other so that then it is good then i should also fight with my brother for my property okay so we try to hide our evil deeds by taking examples from the holy books so it helps to hide the grossness with fair ornament next there is no vice so simple but assumes some mark of virtue on the outward parts now this part's meaning i've written every sin in the world manages to make itself look good some way or the other when i'm doing something wrong even when i am robbing a bank i will say that you see uh, i had to rob a bank because people are in the, even in the bank people take others money and keep it over there i give stupid reasons or try to hide my bad work by some uh, you know outward show of goodness in it okay 
how many cowards whose hearts are as false as stairs of sand wear yet upon their chins the beards of hercules in frowning mars who inward searched have livers white as milk so he also says basanio also says that there are many you know scared people there are cowards who hide their cowardice or who hide that they are afraid by what by wearing yet upon their chins the beards of hercules and frowning mars they have long beards okay and they have muscular bodies they show that they are very uh, they are very brave they can fight anything and everything they are like frowning mars mars is the god of war they are as powerful as hercules but in reality when you search inwards they are like the stairs of sand sand stairs will not last isn't it if you if you step on a stairs made of sand what will happen you will not be able to sustain your pressure over there you will fall down similarly they if you if you search the inside of these coward people you will understand that their livers are white as milk they are very afraid of everything they are not like hercules or mars okay these assume but valor's excrement to render them redoubted so it is only the show of bravery and they are not really brave okay look on beauty now this is a picture that i have uh, this is mars you see they have beards and muscular body people keep for example uh, i will give you a very funny example over here you may see that uh, there are two girls pa passing uh, from a place and two boys trying to say bad words to them then a muscular man just crosses his way and goes away he is he is afraid to speak against whatever is happening speak against what is wrong okay so but a very you know lean a very uh, a very uh, thin man you see that that person is coming to speak against whatever wrong is happening so that that means that when if you have a muscular body or if you have a beard that does not mean that you can do anything and you are very brave just like hercules or mars look on beauty so if you look on beauty if you see beautiful women crossing the roads you will have to understand that that person might have purchased by the weight that means might be wearing a huge amount of makeup which therein works a miracle in nature that is that that does magic you wear makeup and you become very 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 beautiful making them lightest that wear most of it if you if you are very dark skinned or if you have a lot of blemishes on your face you hide it hide everything with makeup and then you look the most beautiful although you are not so what does bisanio try to point out from here he he tries to point out that just by looking at somebody don't judge don't judge a book by its cover so are those crisp snaky golden locks which make such wanton gambols with the wind so you see you must have seen beautiful women with with very uh locks of hairs with beautiful locks of hairs curled hairs and they are so beautifully they beautifully fall on their faces they look so beautiful but if we, it might so happen that if you look carefully you will be able to understand that often known to be the dowry of the second head that this hair is actually a wig it is a false hair that has been borrowed from the skull in the sepulcher what is sepulcher sepulcher is a place where you keep the coffins of dead people so this hair is actually a wig or a false hair which has been brought from a, a person who is already dead that means she actually is not beautiful she does not have such a beautiful skin such beautiful eyes such beautiful lips or such beautiful hair these are all made up how by the use of makeup by the use of false hair so just by looking at this girl don't feel don't think that she is so beautiful it might be so that she is wearing a lot of makeup she is wearing a uh, false hair thus ornament is but the gilded shore to a most dangerous sea so ornament or outward appearance is can often fool people just like the gilded shore or the dangerous shore to a dangerous sea so for example if you are traveling on a ship on a dangerous sea and then you suddenly see a shore have you seen life of pi you'll be able to understand then there was an island that complete that used to drown completely under the sea that used to go under the sea completely so at certain times of the day so over here you see this shore this is a very dangerous shore this is a very risky shore this this is not a good place to be but on the sea on the dangerous sea 
while seeing this shore the people become very excited that okay finally we have come to a safe place and they land on it and they are in more danger so don't judge a book by its cover and therefore the beautiful scarf veiling an indian beauty that means it often happens that an indian beauty that is a black skinned woman wears a beautiful scarf to look very pretty but in reality if you look inwards you'll be able to understand that they are not really beautiful in a word the seeming truth which cunning times put on to entrap the wise that means many a times it happens that even the wisest person is fooled by it is fooled by the outward show okay therefore the gaudy gold hard food for midas so who is midas midas in the greek mythology you see midas was a king okay what had happened to him whatever he touched it turned into gold now this is not a blessing you see you will also have to touch the food and have it you also touch your little child or little brother and sisters if he or she or if your food turns into gold then what will you eat you'll not be able to eat anything you will be dying isn't it if you don't eat you'll die out of starvation you will starve and die same thing happened to midas so basanio says that i i don't want a life like midas i am not going to choose bright gold i'm not going to choose the gold casket because i know midas's story i know how midas died out of hunger because he could not eat gold so gold is not good for everything isn't it therefore will none of these so i'm not going to choose gold nor none of these so silver also i'm not going to choose so gold so you have got many reasons why he did not choose gold now why didn't he choose silver the pale and common drudge between man and man drudge means you see silver is a substance with which we make coins and people fight with one another for money isn't it so obviously it is a reason or uh, it is a reason for which men fight with each other so i'm not going to choose you also there can be no connection between with with uh, with uh, fighting and with love isn't it so i i'm not going to choose the silver casket also then i am going to choose the meager lead so i am going to choose what i am going to choose lead which rather threatens it does not uh, it does not promise anything it is threatening me by the dull look of it but then also i am going to choose it because your paleness that you are looking so pale you are looking so colorless that moves me more than eloquence so i feel that because you are looking pale you are truthful about yourself so i'll choose you joy be the consequence may i be blessed with porcia's hand i hope that i'll win porcia by this so i decide to choose the lit casket okay porcia aside how all the other passions fleet that means all the emotions are slowly vanishing all the other emotions fear that whether he is going whether basanio is going to choose the right casket or not everything is vanishing because what is taking its place love as doubtful thoughts and doubtful thoughts and rash embraced despair i was desperate that if basanio is going to choose the casket correct casket or not i was sad also desperate about it and shuddering fear i was afraid if he will choose the correct one or not and i was also the green eyed jealousy everything every other emotion is vanishing because love is taking its place oh love be moderate so he tells love she tells love that please be moderate i'm so excited that finally i'll be able to marry basanio i'm i cannot calm myself down ale control thy ecstasy please i am so happy that i not i cannot control myself my happiness in measure rain thy joy scan the excess i feel too much the blessing make it less for fear i surfeit i'm so happy i'm so excited about it that i cannot control my emotions please control my emotions love she invokes love she personifies love and says that please control my emotions or else i'll fall sick of it okay so over here we come uh, to today's uh, to, to an end to today's class because uh, this is a huge scene and you cannot do it uh, in one session so in the next part i'll do the rest of the portion of act 3 scene 2 and i think this portion is clear to you and uh, one more thing that i would like to uh, mention over here that you must be sure that you can explain all these for example the veiled beauty with a beauteous scarf indian beauty with an indian with a beauteous scarf then dangerous shore of a dangerous sea then uh, how the religious book hides the grossness or hides the evil deeds of people every example must be clear to you 
because questions will come like this that why did Bassanio choose the gold casket? Bassanio chooses the gold casket because he feels that he, he cannot be, there are many people, even the wisest people are often fooled by the outward show. So he's not going to choose uh, just by looking at the outward beauty of the gold casket. And because it is often seen that if it is inward searched, then uh, people who look very brave, they're actually cowards. People who look very beautiful are actually ugly so inside might not be good okay so we should not judge a book by its cover therefore he did not choose the gold casket then it might be asked that he gives a number of instances or examples which shows that we should not judge a book by its cover give one or two examples then you have to give the examples of beauty or uh, how the wig how people with beautiful hair if you see, if you go close and close to see it, then you might find that it is a wig, it is a false hair. These examples you can give, okay. And uh, this portion from here uh, is the more most important. You can also be asked about the music. That is clear. What kind of music will be played if uh, if Pisanio chooses the incorrect casket? What kind of music will be played if Pisanio chooses the uh, Correct casket. Okay, these questions can also come from here. So be very careful. You can be asked to give the meanings of certain lines. You have to explain those. I hope I have made myself clear till this part. If you have any problem, uh, then you can obviously write in the comment section. Don't worry. Whatever problem you have, if it is a word, if it is a sentence, if it is a if it is more than two three lines you can write them down in the comment section and ask don't fear i'm not going to say anything to you about it and just ask whatever question or whatever doubts you have over there okay your exams are coming closer so uh, make it very clear that this portion this scene is very important because Bisanyu is an important character and he is choosing the casket over here so make it clear that you understand all the parts all the examples and everything from the scene okay thank you if you have liked my videos please comment subscribe and share it with your friends bye bye